Yeah, we live. You can start. Oh, right, shalom, shalom. Yeah. Yeah, I can open up. All right, shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kadash. That will announce unto the elder apostles of Great Muslim, the elders on down. Shalom to the sincere Akim. Uh, cause the four winds with, with us wherever Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has scattered us in his last days, as a righteous remnant is returning unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Because the scripture says, while in Corinthians, the rest were blinded. All right, this is uh, Proverbs. Uh, 11 verse 1 it says the false balance is an, is an is abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight and that's exactly the thing what we see today happening right now everything is what is out of course all right what uh uh the understanding of the heavenly father is, is being chopped uh into darkness but uh through the word of yahweh shall being preached as the scripture says in the book of Matthew, 24th chapter, this word must be preached throughout, throughout the entire nations, amongst all these nations, whithersoever we've been scattered among them. Right. So, so the righteous order can be what? Can be reestablished, all right? And part of the world, okay, speaking about our own, the world, okay, you Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and your descendants, you don't see the righteous balance that is being applied Okay, by the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, imparting the Harukah Kotash, the Holy Spirit, amongst his elect, to correct all this madness that's going on amongst us. Uh, let, me, let me get that. Uh, Proverbs 1, uh, 11 and 1, it says, uh, A false balance is abomination in, uh, to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Baruch uh, Hashem, uh, can you get uh, Amos, uh, Amos 5 and 10? Uh, this is uh, Amos Uh, this is Amos chapter 5 verse 10 he said they hate him that rebuked in the gate and they have heard him that speaketh of rightly uh, that's the word that's the false balance okay yeah. we're supposed to be looked as heroes okay condemning the society whereby yeah. the law states and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yashai uh, they were, they're not being taken heed unto. Nobody's following these laws, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. If anything, we've been frowned upon. As the scripture says, look, we are what? We are filth in front of the world. Uh, but in the sight of, before the sight of, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem uh, and the rest of the host of heaven, okay, we are the light of the world. Uh, that's why we're not hiding anything that we're doing. Uh, confessing Yahweh Hashem Yashai, it says that in, in Tobit, uh, let me get that one. This is a book of uh, Tobit, uh, chapter 13. Uh, it is, as it is commanded of us to do, all right, uh, letting this, uh, this, what, this, this uh, the light to shine. All right. This is uh, the book of Tobit, uh, chapter 13. So, okay, uh, Tobit 13. All right. This is uh, 13. Uh, this, I'm starting with. Uh, Verse 2 says, For he doth scourge, Tobit chapter 13, verse uh, 2 says, For he doth scourge and have mercy, he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Uh, for what, what has uh, happened to us as Israelites, okay, uh, what we finding ourselves yet this day in our captivity, as the scripture says in the book of Baruch, we still, that it was because of what? Our transgressions, okay. Yeah. Going astray from the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yashah, we never escape. All right? as, as I open up with our Proverbs eleven and one, that is the balance of Yahweh Hashem Yashah. Going back in the book of uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight, when you when you read through it, on uh, just about one from verse one to fourteen, these are the blessings. All right? and all these blessings are what are complete. If you read these uh, the, the verses, they may seem what these are small blessings, but they are what within these very uh, small uh, blessings. Carnally speaking, but spiritually, the word they are complete, okay. uh, and that complete uh, blessings they required what? Uh, uh, what? What's the word I'm looking for? They required uh, the curses that are gonna accompany the blessings, because what? Because that would be what a false balance if, if what happened unto us never happened, because what? Because we made an oath with Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Okay. 
Because right. right, what the most has made is what his word are good for of, after all this what has befallen us, but through grace. This is what we're doing right now. This is a Tobit 13, uh, verse, uh, verse, two, verse 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us amongst them. So we've been scattered amongst them. Guess what? We're going to be gathered from among them. God. As the scripture says that in Revelation, okay, the great multitude, okay, all of those who are going to be sealed, 12,000 out of, out of each tribe, the leadership, all right, and alongside with the women and children, okay, the helps, Okay, the true believers in Yahweh Pashmi are shy. All right, let me go back to, uh, can you read out uh, Amos 5 and 10 again, Baba Kusha? Yeah, this is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. He said, they hate him that rebuke in the gate, and they have heard him that speak it uprightly. Can because well, we, we're not expecting our praises from the world. Uh, the world can, can never love us. Uh, it can never love us. It is impossible. All right, because well, the servant is never greater above his master. The same thing that Yahweh Shai went through, the same thing we, we're going through. Right? Right. And that's why it's so important. That's why uh, the, the disciples say, Wow, they, 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 they said uh, unto Yahweh Shai, says, says, says Yahweh Shai, increase our faith. All right? These, this is the worst time to be living in, but it's also the best time uh, pursuing, uh, pertaining to our salvation, which is to come. The promises that have been uh, promised unto us, to those who are going to endure unto the end. Uh, this up. Uh, let me get that piece. This is a Proverbs. Uh, this is a book of Proverbs 20, 29, verse, seven, verse 27. It says, An unjust man is an, is an abomination to the just, and he that is up, upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Uh, it's about uh, applying balance. That's how balanced the Mosai is. Uh, the evil and the good. Uh, but the problem in society is what well, through Job 9 and 24 says what well, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. That balance is what is is it's now out of course. That's why yeah. it must be that the servants, the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yashai must stand up upon that we must be Lord willing we be of the elect. We, we must stand up upon our watch in these last days. Okay. This is our Proverbs 29, verse 27 says, The just man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the to the wicked. Uh, big, can. And that piece of you can go ahead, huh? Uh, uh, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 33, verse 14. He said, God is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinners and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Mosai, and they are two and two and one against another. Can. They all go in, in hand, all right? There's not there is day, okay, and this is the reestablishment of the what of that balance through the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, okay, right. rebuking this society because what there's nothing balanced in this society, uh, it's, you, you according to this place you only supposed to receive the good, what about the bad, uh, what about the bad, the trials and tribulation, right. uh, cause let me get this precept in a book of Hebrews now I said that it's a Hebrews. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews. That's why it says that in Ecclesiastes, well, the second chapter, it says, My son, if thou comest to serve Yahweh, shall prepare your, well, your soul for temptation. That is part of the balance. Uh, that's why it says what uh, in Ezra 9, uh, the book of Ezra 9, the next chap uh, chapter 9, it says what? He, uh, after what we have done, us and our forefathers, this is less than what we deserve. It is less than what our, our actual iniquities actually deserve. Because we, we entered into an oath as a nation. That's why we, that, that, that is a, uh, the part of the main reason why we're still catching hell. Even when we serve in Yahweh Hashem Yashai, that is the, some, some of the things that we must what, uh, settle them in our minds. Right. We can look constantly back, back and forth, back and forth, until the righteousness be established, the kingdom of heaven. We're going to go all through all these things. Okay. Uh, this uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, I'm um, sort of as far as this, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Uh, it says, For when, it says, 
says like it says Hebrews 12 and 6 says for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth so that's a, that is a, is a what is a good sign when you when you start catching hell all right because right. it's a good sign that look there's a good chance that we, we are being received of Yahweh all right it says uh, if he endure chastening the most high dealeth with you as sons for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not okay that's uh, and that's not going to be who Esau mainly and the two thirds of our own because Esau in his mind he said look man he has this mentality thinking that he's like the most high all right as it says was that inscription in psalms it says what uh thou actually have thought that, that like uh i was like unto thyself because yeah. the most high sees all these things he's letting Esau to pile up all these different sins sin upon sin sin upon sin until judgment comes uh, but now can't this yeah. i believe there's a scripture there in, in maccabees speaks about he does not allow us our sins okay to what uh to, to be way above so that uh when when the, when the judgment comes as he allows these uh, these nations to pile up their sins when judgment comes it's going to be harsh i believe it's also that in Nahum, uh, chapter one i believe verse four uh, it goes into that if you could get it, uh, uh, was it? Baba Kusha, uh, name Nahum one, I believe, Na Na Nahum chapter one, verse uh, verse five. Okay. Is that name one in uh, one of five, is it? One and, um, the mountain, um, the mountain quake. Can, nah, let me just try you. Hey, shall want to um, GMS, GMS Guyana? Shall want to appear on your watch and your shy watch and like a Kadash, like a town? Shall I want to? Prakatao. Uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, the first verse, it's like here. Name Neom. one and one. Neom one and one. All right. So this is Neom chapter one, verse one. He said, The burden of Nineveh. The, um, he said, uh, The book of the vision of Neom, the um, echo, the echo, 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 echo shite. He said, The power is ah, jealous, yeah. and the Lord Yahweh revenge it. The Lord Yahweh revenge it and is furious. The Lord Yahweh will take vengeance of his adversary. He shall he shall res, um, reserve wrath for his enemy. Khan Khan, that's the point. He reserve his is what his wrath unto the enemies. Uh, and, and that's why uh uh Esau still has this mentality of keep on building, keep on building. Uh we see all these uh these different malls that are building, okay, continuously so. That's the mindset of this place. Uh, and, and and alongside with the two thirds of our own, they still have that kind of a mentality. Okay, they think you know what the kingdom of heaven is is a far off, uh, but it's it's quite near. It's nearer than we believe, as as, as the scripture says in in uh, in uh, what's that in Romans thirteen and eleven. It is high time to awake out of sleep, because what the most high is angry with the wicked every day, as it says that in the book of Psalms. So these these this is part of the balance that must be established. Uh, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Man. Okay, being just like Noah, he was what? He was moved with fear. The same thing, that's what that's, uh, that is pushing us. We've been Man. fueled by fear of Yahweh Pashim That's a big fear. This is, a, okay. this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil act, an evil work, is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Khan, Khan, everything, uh, everything's still fine. Nothing happened for what I did uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I, 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 they actually have this mentality, you know what, I've gotten away with it. But that's not the case. Uh, his eyes are upon his sinful kingdom. Uh, and yeah. the current evil, uh, evil kingdom is this current establishment. And mainly being what, Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, that's the, the main evil uh, kingdom that has been set up right now. Uh, right. This is uh, Job uh, 20, 28. 
odd verse 20 job chapter 28 verse 28 is and unto man he said behold the fear of the lord that is wisdom God. to depart from evil is understanding because well, we know the most is never mocked okay whatsoever men sow that shall he also reap we are fully aware of that okay the good and the bad okay says so, uh, job 28 verse uh, 28 is unto man he said behold the fear of the lord that that is wisdom to depart from evil is understanding because we, we are going to be uh, be rewarded accordingly uh That's revelation right. 22 to uh, start revelation chapter 22 uh this is uh, revelation chapter 22 uh verse 21 this job speaking says it says uh, revelation 22 verse 12 it says and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall shall be uh that's why that's why the lord says well unto all uh, the wicked and slothful servants uh, they shall be punished yeah. uh, they shall be all be punished uh, even those who who, who, uh, who failed to take heed unto the warning the same one the same ones are going to they're going to be punished all right because all, all these are uh, different guys who come into the truth uh they, they end up becoming scoffers or they they, they they do what they start uh bring up uh damnable heresies different doctrines they just automatically enter into a into a into a uh a, a, a space of becoming false prophets and we know what the scripture says well, about about uh, false prophets uh that's why the scripture says well we must take heed continuously so so revelation 22 verse 12 says and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me and to give every man according to his work shall be i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end the first and the last uh he's the one that's going to do what ultimately uh he's, he's going to make sure that the judgment that we are bringing out unto these nations turn them that judgment he's going he's going to be the one who's going to actually be leading the execution of the judgment of these all these nations beginning at the house of israel done that's why you say you right down shall not spirit you right down shall not spirit the sinners can 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 you know let me just get i just as zechariah this is zechariah uh this is a book of zechariah slakia can this is a book of zechariah chapter nine uh because Part of the balance is that look, if our own are not listening and taking heed unto the warning, and the Messiah has, prom has uh, promised nothing but death and destruction unto them, what do you? How can you possibly think these nations could be saved? It is impossible. Can. It is impossible. This is Zechariah chapter thir uh, thirteen. Uh, it says uh, nine verse eight is, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, save, save save the lord two past the ring shall be cut off and die but the says about the third shall be left the ring all right says and i will bring uh, the third part through the fire and i will refine them as silver is refined and now it's so like it says uh, and will and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and, and they shall call on my name and i will hear them i will say this is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Okay, so these nations, they can fit nowhere. Uh, okay. But the righteous remnant is now calling unto the name of Yahweh Shai right now. In the lands of our captivity, remembering of our, ourselves who we are. Okay. Our pure minds be what being stirred by the way of remembrance. And, and that's powerful right there. All right, that's powerful. Okay. Make a quick piece of back up there. This is... um. This is um, Baruch. Uh, uh, this is Baruch chapter chapter two for us. Um, seven for us thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And this I know this prophecy playing out right now, because in in our, in, our, in our four kind of globe. You see the you see the Israelites waking up. You know they're waking up and they 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 they, they, they are they, they exalting Yahweh, <clears throat> so like exalting Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Shai, 
among these heathens, right? As the chapter, as the verse read all in um, Tobit, right? Yeah, 13. He said, verse 31, and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Right? Hey, this, this is why the, as the, the most I or the most I um, bring us back to remembrance. Right? He said, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff naked and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. You know, we was out there in the world were be, doing, being wicked. You understand? Being stiff naked. Right? He said, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which sinned before the Lord. He said, and will bring them again in and will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And this and this 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 about to happen. The most I see gonna bring us back in our own land. So they got they got this um this this group um this H H O I H O I or H O I D C saying that hey you gotta go back to the you gotta go back to the homeland. No, the most I see he gonna bring us in, in the land. Right now the land polluted. The most I gotta cleanse the land, right? Yeah. So the most I uh, see, the most I say we gonna remember ourselves in the land of our captivity, right? Again, and, and and part of us are remembering ourselves in the in the, in the land of our captivity is what is is our relearning our, our patience and, right. and faith and trust in Yahweh Hashem and that's that's exactly what the, uh, these uh, guys were now in the land of Israel right now uh, have uh, failed to do. This is Zephaniah. Uh, this is the book of Zephaniah, uh, three verse uh, eight it says, "Therefore wait ye upon me." Save Yahweh Bashin Yahushai until the day that I that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may that I may, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even right. all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be uh, devoured with the fierce anger of my jealousy. Uh, it's but by waiting upon Yahweh Bashin Yahushai till our deliverance come. Uh, Till we be redeemed from among men, that we be of that number. Okay. okay. As it says in Revelation, what uh, all their enemies beheld them. Okay. As the elect are going to be what be delivered from uh, from uh, from uh, amongst all these different nations, whereby, whereby we've been scattered among them. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, instead of verse 1 says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse that's balance, which <laughs> hey, that's balance, okay. Right. That's balance, all uh, right. Just like, um, my old uncle used to say, uh, the book of Deuteronomy is uh, the book of do me no wrong, okay. Because hey, we messed up, but but through the grace of Yahweh, uh, the space of repentance is open unto the righteous elect, our uh, remnant elect, okay. This uh, Deuteronomy says, uh, which I have said before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all nations, whither the Lord thy power have driven thee. So yeah. amongst all these nations, we're going to remember ourselves. As the scripture says in St. John, says, what my sheep hear my voice. Yeah. Uh, the sheep are hearing the voice of Yahweh Pashmi uh, Ashai. It says, uh, and, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day. Thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thine thy, uh, thy soul, it says then will the Lord Yahweh Bashmiyashai thy power will re will return thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will and will return uh, and will return and gather thee from all nations with whither he it's like whither uh, the Lord thy power have have scattered thee. He says he right. himself is the one that's going to what? He's going to do all the uh, the gathering. Okay. Right. He's the one that's going to do all the gathering. As the scripture says in Baruch, okay, it says from, from the east, from the west, okay, they all, we are what? We, we're going to be gathered by the, by the word of the Holy One. Right. 
जिस मालखाई जिस मालखाई चैप्टर थ्री वर्स सिक्सटीन जिस देन दे डेट फिर यहाँ पास में आशा स्पेक ऑफ इन वन टू अनदर एंड एंड यहाँ वह हाथ किंग एंड हेड इट एंड द बुक ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस वाज रिटन बिफोर हिम फॉर देम दैट फिर द लॉर्ड and that uh thought upon his name okay right. and the books are, are being open right now for for a time these books were 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 closed as it says the book of daniel now the books are what are being open right now we know we we know exactly what... i guess i the internet stick the <clears throat> Yeah, the Bible like you cut out there, you know. Yeah, so the Bible saying, yeah, you know, the the seal is loose now, you know. You how, you how, um, you how shy, you know, lose the seal, so the and give the understanding to the elect, you know. Is why we could be out there on the um highways and byways, you know, teaching the true, the true gospel to wake up the the uh the elect, the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel, which is the hundred and forty four thousand. And the one third men and children who are Israelite, you know, from the four corners of the globe, you know, the elect can be coming out of all nation, right? Where, where, wherever the most I scatter them, they can be coming out, right? Um. So let me let me continue with it, with it, brother. Um, with it, brother, leave off there in uh, Malachi. Yeah, this is a uh, Malachi chapter. Um, His brother was reading the, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is Malachi chapter three, verse sixteen, right? He said, "Then, then they that fear the Lord shall speak often one to another, and the Lord hearken and hear it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. For he said, for them that fear it, the Lord, and and that thought upon His name." And this will be like doing in these last day, you know that they 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 thought upon the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. So lucky, let me just send out this link to this brother, right? So, you know, that's that's the balance because we once was forgotten, right? We just continue from our heritage, right? You know, so the most I bring us back to remembrance right now, and there's the balance. This is the balance right here, right? Going back to our remembrance, right? So lucky, let me just send back this link, right? Yeah. Right. So there's the balance, you know. We forget ourselves. I know now we remember ourselves in the land of our captivity, right? And we think upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? All right. He say, um, yeah. He say, and they shall and they shall be mine, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewel. And the jewel is with the elect. The most high jewel is the elect, right? He said, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. So the most high, the most high gonna spare his elect. You know, the most high, you know, put us into captivity because we dis we disobey him, right? And as our father is dealing with his son, you know, when your son disobey you, not doing what we supposed to do. You know, you 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 correct him. You know, you correct him by either either cutting off certain certain um you know ties with him. You know, like it, like some people with with ground with ground them. You know, you understand? Take away take away the the the, the games. You know, put it. You know, you know, you 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 um 
you correct them by what punishing them or some people you know, might beat them but you know, beat them with the rod you know this is what you have any father do right this is exactly what you have any father do to us because we are we are his children and we went off right so if we went off you gotta correct us right and there's love there's love with the most i do to us right by correcting us this is um Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse um, 5. He said, Thus, he said, Thou shalt thou shalt also consider in thy in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy power chasteneth thee. And there's balance. You understand? Because what we went off and the most I said, if we, if we don't keep his commandments and we go off, all his courses shall come upon us and overtake us. And that's balance. Right? That is, that is that is balance and this is what job this is what job say he says shall shall we receive good from the lord yahweh and not receive evil right so it's balance you understand that is balance um let me get this one in uh proverbs all right Check something there, Baba Kasha. All right, so the most size are the most size are balance. The most size are balance power. You understand? Most size are balance power. All right so the most i say if you do if you, if you don't if you're not chastening your son you hate him right if you're not chastening your son you 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 hate your son right let me see how I find this um All right. <clears throat> Let me see if I find this precept. Uh, Proverbs, I think it's 23. All right, this is um, right, this is Proverbs 13. Yeah, this is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24. All right. <clears throat> he said, "He that he that spared his rod hated his son, but he that loveth him chasten it be, um, be, uh, be time." Yeah, so he that hated his he that hated his son, you know, you know, he that spared his son hate um, spared his rod hated his son. So if your son if your son go off and do something that is wrong and you you correct him, you hate your son, right? You hate him, right? But he said. But he that love it, love it him, chasten him be time. You understand? So what the Mosai did to us, the Mosai say if we go off, he gonna punish us. And that's like exactly the Mosai did. You know, the Mosai punish us for going off. Right? And there's love. Right? There's love. Let me see if I send about this link. You know, you better get to some def technical difficulty on the side. Here. Right? Sick of sending back. Notice going, notice going this devil side of trying to amper, amper the word, you know. That's why the battle is spiritual, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's a balance, you know. It's a balance with the most side, you know. If you don't do the most side, say you're gonna punish you, right? Is it is a balance, right? 
nó 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 lại khiến không nó nó sự đấy Most side, the most side is a balance. Most side is a balance power, right? And this really reprobate out they don't understand, you know. And speaking things that don't, speaking speaking evil of things that they don't understand, you know, because it was it wasn't given to them, you know. And when they and when they, and when they hear it, <clears throat> they despise it because it, it 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 displeased them. You know, it 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 please the flesh, right? So the heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, he deal with balance, right? Deal with balance, right? So, <clears throat> so the Most High say he that he that um read back again. This is Proverbs chapter 12, 13, verse twenty four. He that he that straight his rod hit hit his hit his son. For well, he that loveth him chasten it be, be, um, be time, right? You understand? So there's a bond. This is really most I did to us, you know. This is really most I did to us. The most I chasten us for being for being wicked, you know, to to committing committing um to committing adultery, which is going after other God, right? This is um Job five and seventeen. He said, "Behold, happy is the man." Whom, whom the power correct, therefore despise not thou the chastise, chastising of the Almighty, right? And they're going into a balance, right? There's, there's, there's balance. Because well, we did wrong, we forsake the Heavenly Father, right? So we did wrong, right? <clears throat> and this is what Job tell your wife, you know, when she, when she, when she, when she go off, right? When she go up, this is um Job chapter two verse nine. You know, then said his wife unto him, "Does thou still re uh, re uh, retain thy integrity? Cause the most high and die." And this what and this what Job wife tell um tell him, "Cause the most high and die." Right? But well, here what Job said to she because well, she's just another another nigger woman. You know, just don't wanna. These women don't like to be or well, uncomfortable. You know, and with the most high, you got the most high, you got you got you got to know you got to know balance when it comes to the most high. You understand? You got you got to understand balance. The most high deal with balance, and this and this is how Job Job, Job rebuked she. Job said, "But he but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speak. What shall we receive good at the hands of the most high?" And shall we not receive evil? In all, the, in all this, did not Job sin with his lips? So the father's deal, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is deal with balance, right? And this is brother, this this is this is the precept with the brother start off with Proverb eleven and one. A father's balance is abomination to the heavenly father. He's deal with he's deal with balance. You understand? Now let me get some precept on um. So some precept from the coming board. So um, this is this is GMS Guyana, Isaiah six and nine. Right. Get this Isaiah. So like Isaiah sixty and nine. Right. This is Isaiah chapter sixty verse nine. Truly the isle shall wait for for me, and the ship of Tarshish for us. To bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the he said unto the name of the Lord Yahweh thy power and the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. Done. You understand? So and this going into balance too. We was what we was in we was in captivity, right? And the most high will deliver us. Right, he said, and and I and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Yeah, these heathen gonna build our kingdom, right? Just like how we build up this heathen kingdom, right? In this captivity, these various captivity we've been through, right? You know, our 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 ancestors they build up they build up Babylon, right? So hey, these nations gonna build up our walls too. 
The most high is a balanced power, right? The most high deal with balance, right? He said, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Yo, they're going to be servants unto us, right? They're going to be servants, right? That's balance, right? For in my wrath I smooth thee, but in my favor have I have mercy up on thee and hey, and there's and there's balance again there. So the heavenly father do deal with balance in in the most high wrath he smooth we by what? The most high was the most high was was justified to do we do to us because what? we break we break the covenant. We we make a we make an oath with the heavenly father, yo, we're gonna keep this covenant. Right? And we we went off. So the most I the most I punish us with was slavery, right? The most I punish us with slavery. You understand? Um, see, um, GMS um, <clears throat> clothing doctrine, clothing doctrine, uh, doctrine and truth, Ecclesiasticus um, thirty and three. Um, let me get it. Um, this is Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus chapter 30. Can can I be back in? Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm back. Can can I'm back. Yeah. Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 verse. Um, let's read this on comment. Uh, comment of the um, some priests up on the comment board. Um, yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter 30, verse 3. He said, He that teaches the son grieveth the enemy. Can. He said, And before his friend, he shall rejoice of him. Yeah, so when you teach your friend, you grieve, you grieve the enemy. And there's a balance. There's balance. You're letting, you're letting your son know who's your enemy. You know, the people in this world today, especially these, um, these, these um, plantation Christ, Christians, you know, they like to say, love everybody. These black and conscious monkeys, you know, like to say, you know, we, we you know, we push love. Especially these, these rasters, they push love. But, hey, you can't love everything. That's abomination. You understand? That's abomination. That's not, that's not balance. Loving everything is not a balance. That's abomination. Right? Yes, let me read back again, Ecclesiastes chapter 30, verse 3. He that teaches his son grieve the enemy, and before his friend he shall rejoice of him. Right? And that's why that's that's why Esau, like the brother was saying, yeah, I think it was um the last camp 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 Thursday. The brother was saying, you know, when the brother tried to teach his son home and keep him out of school, you know, Esau come down on them. You know, come down on him. Yeah, because we grieve, grieve the enemy. You know, when he when he decide to home homeschool, homeschool his son. You know, the devil don't want that. Devil want you come to his in this his institution so he can indoctrinate you with his poison. All right? Um. Yeah, he said GMS clothed induction of truth. And he said Shalom, GMS Trinidad. Yasharal say Shalawam Akiyom Yahuba Shim Yahu Shai Brakatam. Yeah. Yes, so hey, you know, it's it's all about balance with the Mosai. You understand? It's all about balance. Right? Um I can go back into the um Yom and read back for us too in um in the book of Niyam Day. Can't can. All right, this is um Yeah, this is, we get to see it quick. Yeah, this is Neom chapter one, verse, uh, verse two. He said, The power Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord Yahweh revenge it. The Lord Yahweh revenge it and is furious. The Lord Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversary, and, and he reserve it wrath for his enemy. He said, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. 
the Lord had the Lord had his Salakia, the Lord had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds. He said, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Yeah, so the most I'm not gonna quit the wicked. You know, the boy was going in all year. The most I what? The most I reserve wrath for, for the soca white man. That's why the most I say, he that touched Cain shall receive um sevenfold. That's roughly paraphrasing. Because what the most I the most I is who gonna put the hand on Cain, which Cain today is the soca white man. Right? That's why the most I say he that touched Cain, judgment shall be sevenfold. You understand? So the most I he gonna bring he gonna bring the wrath and the judgment on 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 Cain, which is the soca white man. Right, he's gonna bring that he's gonna bring the swift judgment on him. Right. Uh let me get out this uh Genesis 4, the precept is a Genesis 4 and uh verse 15. Okay. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever stay, slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said a, a mark upon Cain, lest any man, lest any finding him should kill him. Okay. So guess what? We 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 above Cain. We are better. We are better than Cain as Israelites. So okay. how, how much how much more a judgment that's going to befall all these nations, beginning with Esau, Edom? How much more of a sorrow a judgment is going to uh, be executed upon the enemies of Yasharala? Because okay. the enemies of the Most High. Okay, the only way they could uh, actually get back at the Most High is going to be through his his chosen nation, his peculiar treasure. That's how these nations. Are actually uh, getting on the on the wrong side of Yahweh Shai. There's like Chronicles. There's a the book of First Chronicles uh, 16. There's a Chronicles. Uh, let me get this one. There's a Chronicles 16. First Chronicles chapter 16. Verse uh, 30, 33 says that then shall the Salakia. This is First Chronicles, all right, sixteen verse twenty-two says, saying, "Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm." Um. All right, because these are uh, part of the uh, uh, the journey that we're heading into, the, the time of uh, the time of persecution. Okay, just like the Moses said, said that Cain, uh, a mark upon Cain, saying, "Look, man, if any any man should uh, slay Cain." Seven times more shall be avenged. So, when it comes to to to, to the servants, the prophets of Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, okay, a, a much more sorrow judgment is coming on to those who are going to persecute us. That's why the Lord. Uh, that's that's why that's part of the main the main reason, okay, that these all these nations are going to serve a thousand years of captivity, okay, because of the blood shed of the saints, okay, as right. a whole nation, and even, even much more for the, for the, for the shedding of the blood of, of the saints of the Most High, the elect. The, the servants, the prophets of Yahweh, a thousand years of, of captivity, okay, uh, to what, to what, to, to, so that uh, the blood that has been shed uh, since the days of old, beginning of the righteous Abel, so, so, so that uh, that blood can, can actually uh, be cleansed off, okay, that debt can be, uh, be, uh, be repaid. Can. Looking for the, um, the precept when it says, um, the most I scourge us, but he scourge our enemy, our enemy ten times more. Because uh. okay. that's how Mosai does things. When it comes to, to the nations, he does not uh, reserve his judgment. That's like what he did now in Swift Sodom and Gomorrah. He he he, uh, he he never uh, withheld his his uh, his hand from judgment. He made yeah. an example out of them. The same thing is going to do unto these nations today. Uh, in our lifetime, this generation will not pass away till all these things be fulfilled, as Yahweh Shai said. So the, the exact same gener generation in, uh, in the days of Yahweh Shai, this is the same generation back in the reincarnation. Done. A gener a generation of what of liars. Those who are, who forsake Yahweh Hashem Shai. This is a book of uh, Proverbs twenty-eight, verse five says that uh, evil men understand not judgment, but they seek. So like, but they that seek uh, the Lord understand all things. Uh, 
we 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 have a, a clear picture of the big of the of a, a bigger a scheme of things, the intent of your Masha with this place, okay, and and what and the future establishment which is on its way, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven, where everything is going to be what is going to be in order, all right. No more stressing about your kids, okay. No more stressing, okay, about what uh, food. We're gonna actually uh, gonna have a what. We're gonna know what what real food actually tastes like. Because we don't know what, what our real food tastes like right now. It's, it is all about drugs. It's not real food, what we're eating. Because of course we have the wicked ruling right now. It says that the evil men understand no judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Uh, and the, part of the judgment that, that we understand is what? It's all these nations, vengeance is on its way. Damn. They must have their captivity for a thousand years. Then they're going to be put to their place. Then after that, only then can Obadiah 1 and 18 be fulfilled. All right. we, hey, that's, that's part of the main thing that we are hey, we seeking to see, okay, in hopes that we're going to see that day when, when Obadiah 1 and 18 comes to pass. When, now, when all, all these Edomites are going to be what? Going to be exterminated. That's part of the judgment that we understand. Yeah. But the wicked, they don't see that. They're not even trying to seek to understand Yahweh Pashim Yasha. This is Job. Uh, 24. So the book of Job, chapter uh, 24. That's, that's why the scripture says in, in our website, in St. John, the first chapter says, the whole world uh, lies in what? In darkness. The same thing right. is happening right now. Things have gotten worse and worse. This is uh, Proverbs 20, so like it is uh, Job, chapter 24. Verse, uh, verse, I'm sorry, verse 13 says, they are of the says they are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof. It says nor abide in the paths thereof. Uh, that's what the scripture says. What now? Uh, let me get this in Psalms. It says uh, it's like here, Job twenty four, verse uh, verse thirteen it says they are they are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof. Nor abide in the paths thereof, because Esau, this this this, uh, this entire world has been given into their hands. But yeah. instead of them uh, making sure these laws, these commandments are, are being fulfilled and they they are being followed to a T, he's actually against all of that. He can't abide yeah. in the truth. Uh, that's why Yahweh Shah, when he was a uh, cast a uh, uh, casting up, okay, uh, one of the well, one of, one of the disciples, I believe, I could be wrong, when he says, "He are your father, the devil." Okay, of his, of his, uh, it says here of your father the devil, of his will shall he do. He was what he was a liar from the beginning. So he so can't change. Yeah. yeah, the Pharisees that he was cussing out. Uh, it's like can't, can't, uh, the wicked right. scribes and Pharisees. Right. Okay, because he, he, he was alluding to them, look, man, the way you, your, your conscience is so, so uh, sealed in, in being wicked, you just like you, you become just like a Esau. Jeremiah, right. from among my people are from what? Wicked men. The same thing is happening right now. Right. And they do not understand the judge that this soon shall be executed at the, uh, at, uh, at the, at, at the when Yahweh Shai appears. It's going to be the day of the Lord, a day of vengeance, darkness. All right, it's uh, St. John. Let me get a piece of this. Uh, John chapter 3, St. John chapter 3. Uh, Verse, verse 20, I believe, is a St. John chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 20. It says, let me start at verse 19. says, St. John chapter 3, verse 19 says, And this is the condemnation that the light is come uh, into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, than, uh, rather than, than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, yeah. neither doth uh, the light, so like it says, n says neither cometh to the, to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Uh, just like Amos, hours of 5 and 10, they hate him that rebuketh at the gate. Yeah. So they, they, don't, they, don't, they do not want anything that has to do with this light, because they, yeah. they, 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 they are not going to be able to abide in the paths thereof. Yeah, we got says, uh, and can't, can't, of course, their own works. Uh, that's why Yahweh says, Look, man, let me jump up. Let me jump a little uh, up. Says that it's uh, St. John chapter 3. All right, it says, uh, 
3 verse 18 says, He that believe that he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Because you already what condemned already. All right. That's why he says what? By the same word that I speak unto you, the same word is gonna judge you. And the word is being brought out right now. And all these nations are being judged for their wickedness. We right. tell you, look, man, what you're doing is wrong. Repent ye, repent ye. The kingdom of, of Yahweh Pashimasha is at hand. They don't want to do that because their own works is what is testifying against them. Because well, their conscience has, has been already been, uh, been sealed with, 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 with a hot iron. They don't want to uh, repent. According to them, everything is fine. Just yeah. like in the days of Noah, the same thing is happening right now in our faces. Yeah. They don't see the society being destroyed. They don't see they don't see the soca white man going down. They're not seeing it. That's why they continue to marry and give them to marriage, you know? Just like in the day of Noah. The same thing is happening right now. God, there is nothing new under the sun. Hey, can't, can't, nothing new under the <laughs> can But very soon. Let me get this up precept in Isaiah. Uh, like a, Isaiah. It's like it's a book of Isaiah. Because it says, Well, then shall they know that what uh, uh, Jeremiah 28 says, Then shall they know that the prophet has been among them. God. It's like Jeremiah chapter 20, 28. Uh, instead of verse 8, it says that the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Uh, just like Noah uh, in his days, he, he, what did he do? He condemned the world that was, okay? He was what a preacher of righteousness, right. condemning the world that was back then, the same thing we're doing right now, warning you of, a, of a, even a much more greater flood, which is going to be what? Fire. Fire. Uh, <laughs> the fire, which is. Hey, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, these arrows are going to be shot from one end of the earth to another. Uh, this is the fight that we warn you of. The new flood. Okay, the flood of what? Of, of these arrows. We warn you the same, these things are going to come to pass in this very same generation. Uh, we're not going to grow old in this place. It's not going to happen. Okay. The, the environment is not conducive for any of us, uh, uh, Archeum. Uh, to grow older in this place. Uh, there's no future. We, there's no foundation in this place. The principles of this, uh, this society right now, the current establishment, okay, they're all what are uh, built upon sand. Uh, and the great, a great flood, a, a great wave of missiles of fire is on its way, okay, to break yeah. everything into pieces. So it's like Jeremiah 28, uh, verse Verse 9 says, The prophet which prophesieth of peace, and when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that, the, that Yahweh Pashmasha have truly sent him. Then shall it be known. Because right. what uh, Ephesians goes into what? The faith that is a gift. They don't see the, they don't see the, uh, the destruction that's coming. They don't see that because they you know, have the faith of Yahweh Pashmasha. But at the end, the, most, uh, the word is, it says what? Then shall, when all these things are any prophet okay says these such and such is going to happen okay the economy is going to crash when all these things that we prophesy in your faces are right, openly when all all of it comes to pass then will you, will you believe uh right, just like in the days of noah the only what believed when the ark was closed it started pouring down then they believed but there was no what there was no remedy right, there was no remedy at all to save them the same thing is happening right now in our faces this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 16, verse 6. In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebell rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. And this is second, this is second death, which is fire. You know, they're gonna they're gonna burn up, you know, because they refuse, they refuse to hearken unto the word of Yahweh Hashem you know. They 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 hate they hate the balance, you know. They hear the balance, you know. I got next one. This is our wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 22. He said, um, Therefore, he said, Whereas thou hast chastened us, 
thou scourgest our enemy a thousand times more. You understand? So hey, right now the most right now the most I dealing with his children, the most I got the most I chastening us right now because well, we went off. Right? We is the one, we is the one who, who know better. We is the one supposed to lead by example. So hey, the most I gonna scourge us first. But well, yo, these are the nation, you know, they're gonna pay for what they do. They're not they're not gonna go scotch free, they're gonna pay. And they're gonna pay by way, by the way of slavery. Right? They're gonna be our they're, they're gonna be our reparation. You know, these dumb niggas out there don't play them, but they want reparation, they want money for slavery. We don't want no money for slavery. We want your blood, sweat, and tears. That's what we want. Right? We want your we we want your we want your grind and build back our nation, plan back our vineyard, right? And be our servant. And be our servant forevermore. They're gonna be our reparation in the kingdom. We're gonna rule over these nations. These dumb niggas out there want money. Our FRN notes, notes is not money. Note is what some promise something that is promised to pay. That's not even real money. That that now is abomination. <laughs> you understand? Because the dollar, God, God. The, dollar, the, dollar, the, dollar the dollar is supposed to be backed by what? Silver and gold. You got a note. A note is a promise to pay. So when you got a note, you take it back to the bank and you, and you receive all your, your silver or your gold. Right? So this whole society is a, this whole society is, 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 a, is a fast balance. So the most I see scourge our enemy a thousand times more. Right? And when this scourge can come, this scourge can come as a domino effect. Right? He said, therefore, whereas thou hast chastened us, Thou scourges our enemy a thousand times more in the intent that when we when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look look for mercy. You understand? Yeah, he said, wherefore we as men have lived this um this sol this soloity and unrighteously, thou hast torment them. With their own abomination, and that's where the most I can torment them with their own abomination, right? That's why the most I say, "We with all a man sin, by the same shall he be punished." And these people out there don't believe that the so-called white man gonna be punished. They don't believe that he can that he can be destroyed. They don't believe these things. You understand? They don't believe these things because well, they comfortable be servant. They comfortable in hell, you know. Galatians uh, 6, uh, verse, uh, verse 7 says, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Because uh, judgment is coming. They don't see that coming. I can, I can ask me for a minute. You, you speak by time. No, ask me for a minute. Okay, this is uh, Galatians 6, uh, verse 7. Be, be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man... A man Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Because uh, all these nations are going to what? They're going to come and reap uh, what, that, what they have sown. Uh, and part of what they have sown is what? It's having us what? In captivity. Uh, having us in captivity, being frowned upon, being looked down upon. This is going to be a reward unto all you nations. Uh, you, every single last one of you, you're going to be rewarded accordingly. Uh, accordingly. He's never deceived. Uh, Ecclesiastes says what? His eyes are what are ten thousand brighter than than the than the sun, uh, be, beholding what the evil and the good. All right, so all the chess pieces are being moved into place, uh, and part of the, the part of the the beginning stages, okay, that that have been laid. It was what the word being preached, okay, beginning with the elder apostles, uh, of a great millstone on down the archium, uh, okay, and the young uh, brothers in faith coming in, all right. Because this place we must prophesy against it, then the end must come. Uh, as we, we see these, these uh, prophecies was swiftly, okay, manifesting themselves right now. Uproars of the people, okay, these are uh, different signs in heaven. These are the things that are happening right now in our, in our eyes. Because what the Most High was never, he was never mocked. Everything is his own time in his own season. Uh, and this is absolutely the season to speak. Uh, to confess Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with us, however, we've been scattered amongst all these different nations. 
uh, this uh, Ecclesiastes, before that, uh, the judgment comes unto all you nations, this is what is uh, transpiring, uh, transpiring in front of the eyes of the world, uh, a time to what uh, to speak uh, against all this wickedness that is uh, happening right now. It's uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, 12th chapter, I believe. All right, it's so a book of Ecclesiastes. All right, because the most high, he was never mocked at all. Okay, he's never mocked. It's like Ecclesiastes. So like uh, Ecclesiastes. Verse 3. Or verse, uh, let me start at verse, uh, verse 3. says, a time to kill. Then verse it's like Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under, under heaven. A time to, to be born, and a time to die. Uh, that's what we're telling you. Uh, it is time for mass, mass death and destruction. Uh, it is time for what? For vengeance of Yahweh to be finally to be ex executed. Uh, all his fierce anger is going to be what is going to be expressed. All uh, right. By, by these casualties that are going to befall all these nations. Okay. That's why it says, look, uh, their bodies shall be, what? <clears throat> shall be as dung. Okay. Everywhere you turn left, right, and center, they're gonna, they're gonna, there's going to be nothing but dead bodies all over the place. Because, well, of course, it's the day of vengeance. Okay. That's what the laws, that's what it's like. The scripture says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, all right, it's going to be a, a terrible day. Okay. Unlike any other day that we have ever exper experienced in the past. All right. You think what happened in the days of Noah was bad? This is going to be slow, man. Okay. You're not going to be drawn. That's it. One, one way to die. There's going to be multiple ways. All right. That's why the scripture says what in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, he says what? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the, of the living power. And two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to start uh, realizing that. You Israelites. Okay. That's our nationality. All right. That's who we are, according to the Holy Scriptures. Uh, the, the, what, the Spirit bear witness of our spirit. Uh, right. And the prophecies do not lie. They do right. not lie. Okay? Who else are the Israelites if, if, if we may not be the Israelites? Okay? Going, going back to, what, to all these different uh, scholars, they're going to say what? Uh, uh, they say, well, we are the black Hebrew Israelites. Then show me the white Hebrew Israelites. Where are they? Show us these white Hebrew Israelites if we are the black Hebrew Israelites. Uh, and there's no such thing as black and white, okay? Yeah. And that's another lie, okay? This is a part of what the, the, the breaking down of the strongholds. Uh, yeah. And that furthermore proves who the, the true Israelites are, okay? Here we are, we're telling you, look, man, we're the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, but they're still putting the term black in front of it. Yeah. Uh, th these are part of the curses, okay? We're yeah. still under these curses, under these curses, but through the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yashar, they're being lifted, uh, all yeah. right? They're being lifted, holding not our peace, as the scripture says. All right. Is that like, please ask this? Uh, so that, so that can just, like these, um, just like these um, black conscious, um, um, unconscious community, like to say, you know, you know, we are we we are Africans. You know, you and you's a brother, you's a brother that grew up in South Africa. You know that you are Israelite. You are you not a Hamite. You know, come on, there's, come on. there's a difference is that they, they are it's two different nations you know but yet still you know these dummies want to push melanin and wool doctrine it's not nothing to do with melanin or wool it's a different the difference is in the spirit you understand the difference is in the spirit and also the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the Mosai. we fit these we fit these prophecies Khan, Khan, and, and part of the spirit bearing witness, the, part of the main thing is what you even if it's more especially you uh, are uh, uh, the, the Israelites who are scattered among these uh, Hamites, uh, so called Africans. The thing is, all these different customs that they do, you're always going to know that look, there's something wrong about what, what, what I see uh, in front of me. Uh, around the surroundings, you're going to realize there's something wrong. The spirit does not connect with these guys. Khan. Okay, it does not connect. You want to know, you know what, there's something missing here. Uh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. All right? And we see what, what uh, the wrong that has been. That, okay, as we are now what, uh, coming back to the lost, stretching commandments of Yahweh, keeping them through faith, 
uh, and believing in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, uh, as we know that we're not, we're not going to be judged, uh, we're not going to be what we are, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not going to, we're not righteous because of what? Of the laws, of keeping the laws, but through what? Through our believing in Yahweh Bashim Yasha and showing our submissiveness unto Yahweh Bashim Yasha by following these laws, searching commandments. Uh, uh, and that's a part of the problem with uh, these, uh, these Christians, uh, self professed Christians. Uh, they, they're not keeping these laws. Uh, neither, do they, do, do, neither do they even believe in the word, because in His word, you will actually, by all means necessary, but to the best of your ability, was that Judges 5 and 11, rehearsing the righteous acts, we will try to keep them to the best of our ability. Uh, we, will, we will, that's exactly what, so like, that's what, uh, what they will try to do. But they, they are not of the flock, so like, yeah. they are not of the flock. They are not of the flock. All right. They don't believe, they don't believe in the, um, in the Old Testament. They said, they said the Old Testament done away with, knowing, knowing a new, knowing the New Testament. And there's a fast balance. Because Yahweh hey, hey. Yahweh Shaiuri was going to God Jesus, he came in the volume of the book. Can, can. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, the thing is about hey, these Christians are crazy, okay? You so-called Christians, you're crazy. Uh, you're uh, the craziest of them all. Uh, you you're worse than, than these guys who are following Buddha and Allah. Because you got you got the word of Yahweh Pashmi Asha. And you're misusing it, and you're leading the masses, millions upon millions, astray. Can. You're the worst of them all. That, that's why. Look, that's what the scripture says. Well, I, was that in Ezra says, uh, uh, "Them that fear Yahweh Hashem Yashad, there shall be great insurrection." Can. Guess what? Um, among these self-professed uh, Christians, the world uh, Esau in his, uh, his upcoming establishment that, that he's going to try to set up, which is going to fail, he's going to be coming back. At, he's going to be even coming at you. Okay, we're going to see you if Jesus is going to save you in that day. If God is going to save you. Uh, we're going to see if you have, you have that faith. Because uh, the only faith, these, truly speaking, these Christians have is money. The faith that they have is pros uh, prosperity. That's uh, the faith that they're dealing with. Uh, God, God. <laughs> money, is hey, that's God. The only, <laughs> hey, money is their God. And, he, <laughs> and Esau is their prophet. Uh, that's <laughs> hey, that's... It's, hey, Hey, we're laughing right now, but hey, it's, things are bad. Hey, things are bad. It's like Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3. Uh, instead of verse, uh, verse 2 again, there's a time to be born and a time to die and a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. What? This wickedness has, has been sown for such a long time. It is now to be what? To be plucked out. And it's going to be plucked out by what? By via via destruction, World War Three. Okay, all, all these diseases, these pestilences are going to be released. All right, people are going to be dying like flies. All right, not even like flies, worse than flies. All right, there's going to be mass death and destruction. That's why it says there is a time to be born. All right, Yahweh Shai said, "What woe unto you that give suck in that day." All right, women with child. That that's why we. Hey, we rather look uh, crazy for a small uh, moment, all right? And at the end, to turn out to, to be to be what to be bringing the truth unto the right. world, all right? Hey, that's why the scripture says, "What well, well, unto me if I preach not the gospel?" All right, destruction right. unto me, all right? Because part of the mentality that that we uh, we have is what I, I rather see masses of people dying, okay, in front of me because I told them the truth, rather than us being what being a being part of the masses who die for not telling you the truth, not yeah. warning you, all right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 3 says, a time to kill and a time to heal. Uh, and the healing is what is unto the elect, all right? And death is unto what? The two thirds. It's unto the two thirds, it says, and the time to build up, all right? And the only building is what? Is the body of, of, of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the elect. This is the only building that is happening right now. Uh, all these buildings that, that we see uh, Esau is be busy uh, building up, they're all going to come down and going to be crushed very soon. Uh, all these different uh, 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 systems that Esau is trying to, est to establish, uh, uh, the RFID chip, uh, people going what, cashless, all of this is going to be brought, brought down, all of it.
because it's what is it is not established in righteousness it is not malachi. in balance okay come this is malachi chapter one verse um verse four he said let me start from the top he said malachi chapter one verse one he said the burden of the word of the lord to israel by malachi i have loved you said the lord yet he said wherein hast thou loved us was not esau jacob brother said the lord yahweh yet i loved jacob and i hated esau and lay his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon in the wilderness whereof edom said we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places right the desolate places this is this is america right thus said the lord of hosts they shall build but i will throw them and they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the lord had indignation forever so the most i say he gonna throw down the buildings he gonna destroy the kingdom yeah Khan, he's the one hey the destroyer of the gentiles is on his way okay right. and he's gonna he's, he's gonna wreak havoc in the, in this place uh alongside the whole host of heaven okay right. he's coming in style and in fashion okay all all every single knee shall bow and every tongue shall shall uh shall confess okay. uh, they want to realize look man it says now in, in the book of psalms surely thou art the power a power which had his uh thyself they want to come to to the uh, realization look we've been lied to uh and there were men that we made mockery out of who was telling us the truth and warning us uh, yeah. going back to let me get this out uh, this is uh, a wisdom of solomon all uh, right this is a wisdom of solomon uh chapter 3 verse 19 says for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation uh, it's going to be horrific yeah. it's going to be horrific all right so wisdom of solomon chapter 3 verse 19 says for horrible is the end of an of the unrighteous generation all right this is the, the exact same unrighteous generation wicked generation that made the most side so angry says look man he repented me that i've made men going back to the book of genesis chapter 6 all right and it's he the most has one intention which is what is to destroy this current establishment of this of this society the system is going down. All these nations who have some uh, type of power through Esau, e through Esau Edom, the so-called white men, as uh, most people know him by, okay, who are the Edomites of the Bible. All of you, you're going down. Damn. All these different establishments are going to be what? They're going to be all be thrown down. Uh, that's like uh, Yahweh Shai said, and I believe in Matthew, uh, uh, it says what, when, uh, when uh, one of their disciples, when, when, uh, well now it's so like one of the disciples said uh, behold master what manner of buildings are these uh yeah i said look man there shall be none uh none, none none stone left and ten so to speak okay the same thing that we see in this place okay all of it's going to become rubble okay and 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 the U the us of a america as we know today there shall be nothing left of it uh, it's going to be nothing but a desolation a perpetual uh, desolation as it says in the book of joel Okay, this new Babylon, okay, because there must be a, a city of confusion, a cesspool of all wickedness in order for the Mosa to destroy any place. That's the reason why all these different kingdoms uh, never lasted, because there was what, this uh, perpetual seed of wickedness always came up. That's the part of the reason why the Mosa is very angry unto this very day, and judgment is on its way. This is uh, our wisdom of Solomon 5. Uh, this is the wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. Let, let me start off as uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1 says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and make no account of his labors. Because all, right, all these different societies, all, right, all these nations, uh, you have benefited, okay, we are, you have benefited, so to speak, on, on a, even a lot of you on a very small level under Esau's rulership. And within your, your establishment, okay, as we see a little bit of it, okay, the, the little crumbs that Esau has planted unto you, it was all off the backs of the Israelites, all right? Mainly what America, as we see today, being a global power, so to speak, 
Okay, as we see it crashing down all the economy, all these nations, don't, don't, they, uh, they do not want anything to do with the dollar right now. Uh, they're establishing their own unions, uh, okay, assembling themselves, separating themselves from, from, the Bab from Babylon, the great, the whole. Uh, but the blood of your nation is going to be required, okay, because you're living lavishly off the backs of the Israelites, okay. But, that, but all of that is what is going to come into an end right now. And it all starts with what? With the, the righteous standing great boldness before all the face of such as of what has afflicted us. Uh, beginning with the main uh, afflictor, okay, the main enemy who has afflicted us and still doing so, as it says in Baruch, behold, we are yet, we are yet this day in our captivity. All right? We are yet this day in our captivity, okay, being oppressed. Nobody's making account of our labors. All right? Even from amongst our own, part of the labors that, that, that all these nations are still uh, not uh, taking into account is what we're doing right now. The preaching of the gospel of the kingdom unto, unto you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the elect, which are going to come out, out of the, the mindset, okay, of being a slave. These are the ones that we're standing uh, so stiffly for the sake of, of the elect. As the scripture says, what? Well, for the sake of the elect, I endure all things, okay? That's the only reason why we do what we do, okay? Beginning with the elders, apostles of great millstone on down the Archeum. That's the only reason why this word is going forth right now. Uh, and part of that is what? Because the intent of Yahweh Masha, give them money so that there could be no cloak. There could be no excuse why you never heard this word, why you never took heed unto it. All uh, right? Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 1, says, uh, says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness uh, before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors, all these different inventions. Uh, he so claim all of that, okay? Just like what happened here in South Africa, uh, the company, the cellular network company, Vodacom, okay, a so-called uh, black uh, South African, uh, he, he, the guy who actually invented uh, the SMS Okay, this whole thing of sending us uh, police calls, okay, system. Uh, he, he took them to court back and forth, back and forth. Uh, they were actually, Esau could have easily just gone, uh, gotten away with that. Uh, that goes to show you these curses are falling on you, Esau. The tables are turning right now. Because if it was a few years ago, man, that guy would have not cut, all right? He would have never cut in a cut them thing. Because all these nations, man, they're rising up against the U.S. All right? And we love to see that. So like, and we love seeing that. Okay? And it's, gonna, it's only going to get worse and worse from here on. All right? Done, done. It says, uh, verse 2 says, When they see, it, uh, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. I uh, says they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be trembling right now. Uh, right. They're gonna be all be but what trembling. Uh, that's why you're gonna see all, on on common boards. You're gonna see all kinds of scoffers, man. Uh, that's like uh, this uh, this other pack of page that I have. There was this scoffer saying, you know, he says, you know, why, why are you doing? Why are you doing this? Uh, why why are you with uh, with GMS? You know what comment I says for for the opposite reasons why you're not with with, uh, with GMS. That's what I told them. He, he never responded. Uh, just goes to show you these guys, man, they already know this is the truth. And they know who Yahweh Pashim is dealing with. Uh, because of, of their unbelief, they're trying to get this truth, but they just can't. Uh, they just can't receive this word. But they know, you know what, this is, must be the truth, man. Uh, all these things that I've been saying, they come into pass. Because uh, it's what, through the, uh, uh, the most high says what, through the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Uh, it's gonna look all. Hey, hey, it looks all ridiculous for 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 small for what for a small moment, but at the end, hey, salvation it is what is nearer than we believe. Uh, says our uh, wisdom of Solomon. Says uh, says and they shall be amazed at the strange strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. Uh, cause they they don't see they don't they don't uh have it in their minds seeing so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans being saved, being the chosen. Meanwhile, there's ample of, evi of evidence 
you open these scriptures, you're going to see what is prophesied to be for the Israelites in the, in the latter end, in the, in the last prophetic uh, latter end of the days. Uh, even uh, the historic uh, artifacts, they show you that. Okay. They show you all of that, but, but well, of course, they love the world. They, don't, they, don't, they do not want to see. Okay. So, like, they do not want to receive the truth. Neither can they receive it because what? Because what? It is, it is of Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah. All right. This is St. John uh, chapter, chapter 3. St. John chapter 3, verse 20, 27. Uh, it's a John chapter 3, verse 27 says, uh, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Uh, that's all, that's all, that's all uh, it all bo uh, boils down to. It's either it's been grant granted unto you from Yahweh Pashim uh, Yahshai, that the Most High, the Almighty Yahweh, has given uh, Yahweh Shai unto you. If it's, that's not the case, there's nothing we can do. It's not, our, it's not our fault that you don't see these prophecies coming to pass. It's not our fault that you can receive the word of Yahweh Pashim Yahshai. Uh, like, like hey, the rest were blinded. Can. Can. It's not our fault. We're just doing what is commanded, commanded of us to do. It's to prophesy against this current establishment. Uh, to tell all you nations your judgment and the two-thirds, those who are going to forbear to hear the warning, okay, the sounding a trumpet, look, you, you're just not going to make it. Casu you're going to be part of the casualties okay, which has to come. Yeah, do, do, uh, um, do hand join in hand with the wicked. Do hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go and punish. And this we're going to have, can. This we're gonna have the two third of our people because uh, they know they want to join they want a giant hand with the wicked. You understand? This will happen to them. I got a priest to pay for you. And this is this is this is um this is Balak in um, Numbers twenty four when um when the um when when Balak pay uh, what what was was what willing to pay Balam to cross the chain cross the chain of Israel, right? This is um Numbers chapter. And and um and but and Balak is a is a Moabite, so they show that these Chinese are they, they are our enemies too, right? He said, uh, Numbers twenty four and thirteen. He said, if Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord Yahweh. He can't do nothing of 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 of, of, of his own. Wherever the wherever the most I get to do or wherever the most I love to say, that's all he could do. You understand? He say um to do either good or bad of my own mind, but what the Lord said, that will I speak. And the most I say, yo, so can white man um, go going into slavery for a thousand years. America gonna be destroyed by term and nuclear missile. Israel gonna be destroyed by term and nuclear missile. Certain part of the certain part of these European islands gonna be destroyed. You know, but the earth abides forever. You understand? The earth abides forever. These heathen nations, these these Africans going into slavery, these Arabs going into slavery, these East Indians going into slavery, these Chinese going into slavery, and the Israelites, we're gonna rule over these nations. They there's the prophecy. But yes, sir, to thought of people wanna wanna buck up against it. And these heathen hearing these things, and they're not really, these heathen are really bucking up against them because they don't believe it and they don't see it. But our people, who who supposed to be in the right mind, which we know is all about prophecy, the most likely the rest were blinded, they don't want to rule over these heathen. They want to stay beneath these heathen. Right? So he said, um, he said, um, verse 14. He said, and now behold, I go unto my people. He said, come therefore, and I will ad um, advertise thee that this people shall do. He said, that this people shall do to thy people in the latter end. Who's this people? The Israelite. And what are we going to do to the Moabites? He said, hey, we're going to enslave this nation. Right? He said, and he took up his parable and said, he said, Balaam. The son of Beor had said, and the man whose eyes are open had said, 
he that said, which heareth the word of the Mosai, and knew it the knowledge of the Mosai, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not night. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and the star is who Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to take Jesus today. Jesus today. There's the star, Yahweh Shai, right? He said, and a scepter shall arise out of Israel and shall smit the four corn of Moab. So, hey, we're going to destroy Moab. Because right now, Moab proud. Moab, Moab feel that he's going to be that he feel that he can be the next ruler, right? So he's proud, right? And this, 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 is, this is future tense. This ain't happening yet. This is about to happen, right? This is future tense, right? He said, he said, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smit the corner of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemy. And Israel shall do valiantly. So, hey, Edom might be our possession. Mount Seir going go to go to um, Judah, right? In Obadiah. Judah going to take the land of um, Mount Seir, right? These this Edomites going to be destroyed after a thousand years of slavery. Can't over die 1 and 18. Right? He said, Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, He said, Amalek was the force of, of, of nation. And who's Amalek today? The so called Jewish people, them, them got a rat in our ah, land. Ah. You understand? There's he had tried with the Edomites, right? He said, And Amalek was the force of nation, but his latter end shall be that he perished forever. So these so called white people are going to perish forever. They're going to be destroyed. You understand? They, they're going to be they're going to be destroyed, right? So the, the scripture says, hey, the people shall dwell alone. You know? And this is the balance with the heaven. This is the balance of, of the heavenly father. The heavenly father is a balanced power. He's dealing with balance. You know, these nations do all kind, these nations do all kind of wickedness, you know. But they was they was they wasn't judge it. You know, the, the Israelite, you know, we did wickedness and we was judge it. We be, we went into captivity. We serve rigorous captivity. We still in captivity, still being oppressed. Who thought our people bug out of the mind? You know, they not kind of they not kind of philosophy committing spiritual adultery. That's why that's why who thought our people gonna die because of committing sin unto death, which is spiritual adultery. You're a Christian, you're gonna die. You think you're an African, you're gonna die. You think as a as a Muslim, you're gonna die. You think he's a Rastafarian or whatever, you're gonna die. These are spiritual fornication. These are sin unto death. That's why two thirds of people are gonna be destroyed. They're hearing the word and the scoffing. They make him mock. You understand? They're gonna be destroyed. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And the most are gonna be justified. To bring in hell on two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. You understand? You're gonna bring hell on them. Khan, I got a precept. There's a wisdom of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, uh verse, verse 27 says, For the worshipping of idols are not to be named, is the beginning, the cause, and the and the end of all evil. Khan. It says for either they are mad when they marry or, or prophesy lies or live unjustly or else lightly uh, forswear themselves. Uh, because it's all worshiping these different idols of these nations. Uh, Psalms 92 goes into that they're nothing but idols, okay? They can't save themselves. So, so why would you forsake the only true power and say and, and, uh, and serve these damn idols? It makes no sense. 
Uh, that's what that's what the law says. What uh, the law is angry with the wicked every day. He's judging the righteous, chastising the righteous daily. Okay, not above measure. Okay, that's what the scripture says. What he he, he doesn't give us more than we can bear. Done. But the ones that he's angry with each and every single day, when that uh, the day of judgment comes, there will be no remedy for them. There will be no remedy. Done. You know, there, there won't be no remedy. And these nations, they, they, just like you, you said, uh, all of the, our transgressions that we committed, we're still paying for all of it. Okay. And we and, and the final judgment is going to happen but throughout uh, the, the time of what, of Jacob's trouble. That's going to be the final uh, punishment. Okay. The last end of these curses, okay, is going to be when Jacob's trouble comes in, when two thirds, all of them are going to be finally be executed. Accordingly, as it says in, in our Chronicles, whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel shall be put to death. That's the right. Moses has no respect of persons. That's uh, right. You, a woman, uh, what, men, little boys, little girls, granny, okay, old men, it makes no difference. When it comes to judgment, the final hour when it comes, uh, if you're not going to be kept, okay, by Yahweh Shah, uh, in the hour of temptation, you're not going to make it. Uh, when it, when that when that hour comes to try all the world, uh, it makes no difference where you are. Okay, that's what the Lord says. What He said, uh, look, He has brought this. What His salvation is near unto us. I believe it's Isaiah. Let me get that. It's Isaiah 50. Uh, it's Isaiah. Because we we have no there's no excuse at all. Twenty eight prophecy uh, excuses anymore. This is Isaiah 46, uh, verse 31 says, I bring near my, my righteousness. It shall not be far off. My salvation shall not tarry. All right? That's why it says, what? Well, though we tarry, wait for it. All right? um, we must continuously keep on standing upon our watch. All right? It says uh, Isaiah uh, 46, verse 11 says, I, says, I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. And my salvation shall not tarry. I will right. be, uh, says, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. All right? Salvation is only going down to the Israelite. Okay, only that's what we Zion. must can <laughs> only in Zion. Okay, only in Zion. All right? <laughs> it's not gonna be in Timbuktu. Okay, hey, it's not a, it's not gonna be in Cairo. No, I mean it's gonna be in Zion. All right? Yasharala, the chosen. That's okay. Right. The Lord does. The Lord does not change. All right. That's he has right. set up the standards, and He's not going to lessen anything. Okay. The standards still stand. The standard of Yahweh Pashmasha is word. They do stand yet this day. Yeah, okay. Just like these um, these these um, these wacky tacky ass Christian is over. Is, I think it's over two point something billion of them, if I correct. And yet still they can't see the hundred and forty four thousand. Christian seven. Seven billion, I believe. Uh, the, uh, the latest that seven. Let me let me check it and see something. Let me check it one time. So we get the correct number. Yeah. Right? They 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 have failed. And they they up to now they can they can see the hundred and forty four thousand. The whole world know about Christianity and the end and the end income, the destruction income. The waste of time. In fact, they can in fact they don't they don't even speak about the kingdom. They don't. They don't even speak about uh, the downfall of the society, because they are. They, they, they are what? They are part of the society. They've been. They've become one with the world, uh, and 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 the love of the world is enmity. Enmity with the Mosaic That's part of the signs that shows. Look, if you love this world, the Mosaic is not dealing with you. Uh, that's what the scripture says. Says what? Micah two and ten says, "Arise ye and depart." This is not our rest. Uh, if you want to get yourself even, even more and more polluted, that's on you. Uh, that's on you. Because if you're still polluted and you still are finding yourself in a gentle state of mind, you're going to die. You're going to be, you're going to uh, become the part of the casualties. Yeah, uh, yeah it's 2.2 .2 billion. 2.2. 2.2 billion and they can't see the 144,000. Come on. 2.2 billion Christian around the world. And this was this was December, December 12, 2016. 
we in 2018 now. Dang. And they can't seal the 144,000. How much more do they need? <laughs> How much more do they do they do they need? <laughs> over over 200 plus years, Christianity has been what has has been uh, been cultivated and forced down the throats of all the masses. You go into in in, in, in India, you're going to find Christians there. Uh, you go anywhere, you're going to find Christian Christians and their own and their Christianity. St still, are uh, we not in the kingdom? That should be a sign. Look, man, that is. Yeah, you know, Christianity, Christianity has failed our people, you know. Our people believe in, in fable, you understand? That's fable. 2.2 billion of them, and we can't, we can't get the hell out of hell. You know, we're still in hell, you know. They show that Christianity failed, right? You know, we get some technical difficulty with you, with your brother. You know, I'm going to see if we can bring him back in, right? Let's see if we can bring him back in there. Um, hey, um, GMS Watchman. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Um, great my soul forever. Hey, Yashamaya. Shalom. Yabashim Yashai Brakatam. Um, Yatazak. GMS Shalom. Shalom. Yom. You know, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Keep it up. Hey, Shalom, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Brakatam. Yahweh Shai is coming back. You know, hey, Shal Shal Shalom, Elder Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Brakatam. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see whether I'm put back. We connect back with you, brother. You know, you get to some problem with the internet on this side. Eh? You know, so. And you know, is anybody like? Yes, it's 2.2 billion. Christian, but yet say they can't see the 144,000. You know, it's a waste of time with these Christian. You know, Christianity has failed our people. You know, our people that's been lied to, our people that are drunk after this um, plantation Christianity doctrine, you know, has failed our people. You know, you understand? <clears throat> so the most I, the most I can put the light out, the most I can destroy are you Christians, right? Because y'all is a bunch of hypocrites. Are you are you are, and are you dumb are you dumb niggas who take it as African? The most I gonna destroy you too. Right? The most I gonna the most I gonna destroy y'all. Right? The most I gonna be justified when you bring you right down bring you right down on you niggas a scoffing against his word. Right? Right, this is really most I gonna do. Right, this is um, this is um, Zephaniah chapter one, um, verse um, fourteen. He said, "A great day of the Lord is near; it is near, and hasted greatly. Even the voice, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry here bitterly. And you and now you scoffers gonna cry." And most I said, these men. These men gonna be like women in the day of judgment. Are you Christian? They are gonna cry on. They are gonna cry on Serapis Christus because you worship Serapis Christus, which is the so-called white man, which 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 is Jesus Christ, right? They are gonna cry. To, he's not gonna answer you. I know why. He's not. He's not gonna save y'all. He can't even save himself in the day, right? He can. He can't even save himself. So last year, he can't even save these Rasta men. Allah is not gonna save these um. These bug out Muslim who are Israelite kind of self Muslim. And these these are um, black unconscious dummies who saying that they, they are African and woolen, mel um melanin and wool, they're gonna be destroyed. You understand? They're gonna be destroyed because they refuse, they refuse to take correction, right? They refuse, right? He said, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. That day is he said. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, and the time coming, the trouble and distress, right? The brother was mentioned earlier about the economy, right? We've seen, we seen Turkey, Iran, 
you know these players these players are what they don't they're not dealing with the dollars the dollar again so the dollar using the trade value on the international market so the dollar keep the dollar the dollar keep decreasing and it keep this decreasing and you're gonna go into our inflation right we see now this tariff war between 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 um china between iran turkey canada mexico the european nation against america so when you see now this tariff war we think gonna happen you know goods price on goods gonna go up right we think gonna happen into these islands these small islands that we're living in you so can negroes latin and native american indian the economy gonna collapse what happened in venezuela gonna happen in in all the land of power you asia like dwelling they're gonna happen right hey so this 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 will come in well yes sir y'all want to scarf and monkey yourself so oh y'all y'all gonna be destroyed in your foolishness y'all gonna be destroyed right he said um um zephaniah 1 and 15 he said that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and take darkness yeah destruction upon destruction you understand this will come in destruction upon destruction let me get that right yeah so you dumb niggas can continue continue being christians and continue thinking that you're africans are uh, you muslim you know uh you just you you just normal you just part of society you continue like that right and 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 see what happened you're gonna be destroyed right this is um ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25 destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and they shall be none so destruction cometh and they're gonna seek peace and they shall be none they're not gonna be none because this is yahweh bashem yahushai judgment right this is judgment right back in zephaniah chapter 1 for 16 he said a day of trumpet and alarm against the fence city and against the high tower you understand so hey america this place is gonna be true dumb right they're gonna be true dumb all these heathen going into captivity right it said for 17 and i will break distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dungs hey so the most i see gonna bring distress on men you understand are uh, you scoffers you know are uh, you niggers hey the most i see gonna bring distress on two third of the nation of israel and these heathen nation the most i gonna bring distress on them right um verse 18 he said neither neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the lord's wrath so your gold and your silver not gonna deliver you in the day of the lord wrath right he said um he said but but the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy so the whole land shall be devoured by jet by fire of his jealousy so the a america can be destroyed in one hour israel can burn down you understand the most are going to destroy these kingdoms right and set up a righteous kingdom upon earth right which our lord and savior yahweh shai king david the, the 12 and the 144,000 going to be the ruler we're going to rule we're going to rule with our lord yahweh 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 shai right he said neither neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the lord's wrath but the whole land shall be shall shall be devoured by his fire of his jealousy for he shall make even a speedy residence he said of all them that dwell in the land you understand and most i can most i can destroy them by fire right by fire the most i can destroy them right so luckily all right this is exactly what we're going to we're going to harm to them all right um fine Can yeah, right. So let me just um, yeah, one more precept there and close after this. Eh? All right, this is um, <clears throat> this is this is um, Titus, 
chapter 2. This is Titus chapter 2, verse 11. He said, For the grace of the Most High that bringeth salvation at a period, at a period to all men. So, the, so this was this was speaking to the Israelite, right? Who Titus, who Titus was speaking to? The Israelites, right? So he said, For the grace of the Most High that bringeth I'd bring it salvation, Salakio. For the grace, for the grace of the most high that bring it salvation that appeared to all men. Right? Teaching that teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Right? So we know this heathen. We know this heathen not gonna live like this. You understand? You understand? So we know these heathen are gonna live like this, right? So this re this referring to who? The Israelites, the elect, who are gonna turn back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? So these are the thing, these are the thing that we gotta de um, teach them, teach them to deny what ungodliness. Being a Christian is ungodliness. Being a Muslim is ungodliness. Being a being being thinking that you are African when you're the Israelite that's ungodliness. Because it's not truth, that's fable. That's doctrine of lies. Right? You see, it's a teaching them that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. Right? So this how this is how we're supposed to walk in this present world. Because this world is this world is this is this is a wicked world. You understand? This is this is a wicked world. Right? So this is how we gotta walk. You gotta walk upright. You understand, right? Because this is a this is a this is a demonic world, right? Um, this is um, four John five and nineteen, and we know that we are the sons, Talakia, and we know that we are of the Most High, and the whole world light in wickedness. Right, the whole world light in wickedness, which is the so called white man rulership, you know, he rule in wickedness, right? So the most I'm gonna destroy this place. So as your brother, as your brother, yeah, what's up from South Africa say? He said, You Christians are mad. You know, y'all out here, y'all mad, y'all are mad. If y'all could if y'all sit down there and think this world not gonna be destroyed. Me when we say world, mean the so called white man kingdom, right? His world, his rulership. You gotta be out here mind. Seeing all this wickedness, the vibration is more pushing, and think the most I'm not going to burn down this place. Y'all got to be out of your mind, you know? Y'all got to be out of your mind, right? You want to say, um, you know, to water to, water to all the um, Akiyams, you know, who come out and support on the comment board, you know? You know, to water for the, the precept, you know, to water for the support, you understand? Um, and these scarf was, you know, y'all in your perfect lot, right? We not mad. We not mad at you scoffers. We know the script. The script is say, um, in the in the last days, you know, they shall come mockers and scoffers walking after their own lust. So we know y'all in your perfect lot. So we not mad at y'all, you know. Y'all gonna just be destroyed, right? And y'all gonna come back in the kingdom in your right mind. You, you you're not gonna find these hidden coming and scarf against the street. God, the heathens them don't believe in this. But the ones who scoffing is the Israelites who want to be heathens. You understand? They, they are the ones who scoffing, right? Who don't believe, who have no faith. Right? You understand? But what? We know y'all are a perfect lot. Right? And y'all are going to be destroyed. But y'all are going to come back in the kingdom and y'all are going to be in your right mind. Right? Because the scripture says, all Israel shall be saved. So the two thought that die on the side, they're gonna come back as the chain, the chain of the elect, right? And they're gonna be in the right mind. And they're gonna live in the shame. Knowing that they were know that they were a bunch of fools in Babylon. And they and they reject, they reject knowledge, right? So, you know, to water for the Akiyams, you know, your support, right? They want to give our praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyoms in the four corner yard who pushing the gospel in sincerity in church shallow one.
Shalawam, Mawat Labal, 